Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for November the 28th of 2019, well, it is titled Moon and Planets at Twilight. So what do we see here? Well, an image taken back on October the 29th, and we see the thin crescent moon as it was, and that's again the situation that it will be tonight as the moon takes about one month to go through its complete cycle of phases. Now, the thin crescent moon visible in the evening sky uh, right after sunset, and this would be the waxing phase, as we call it, a waxing crescent, meaning that it's getting a little bit larger every day. So if we were to watch the moon over the next few days, you would see it get from a thin crescent to a much thicker crescent as it approached first quarter uh, later this by the end of the week, beginning of next week. So we also see a number of other objects in this. And in fact, the scenery in the foreground to nicely frame the photo. But the bright star-like object is actually the planet Venus. So the bright planet Venus visible uh, here. And another planet, a much harder to see, that I can point out here for you, and that is the planet Mercury. And Mercury is harder to see, in fact, the hardest of the planets visible to the naked eye to be able to find. Not only because it's fainter, being smaller and less reflective than Venus, but it's also always very close to the sun. So... It never gets very far away from the sun and is always seen within the haze right before sunrise or right after sunset. So one of the more difficult objects to be able to try to find in the sky. We can always easily see the moon. When Venus is visible, it is one of the brighter objects in the sky. In fact, it's the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon. And Jupiter, which will be joining them this month, will be much more prominent. So we're going to have an even better sight uh, tonight. If you get a chance to go out and look and look to the west right after sunset, you would be able to see something similar here, except in this case, it will be Jupiter with Venus and the moon instead of Mercury. And Jupiter being a large, very large planet actually looks a lot brighter in the sky. So you would be able to see a uh, much brighter three bright objects. We have the brightest objects in the sky off to the west right after sunset. And that would be the thin waxing crescent moon, the planet Venus and the planet Jupiter. So hopefully you get a chance and get some nice clear skies to be able to go out and get a chance to look at this celestial alignment tonight. So that was our picture of the day for November the 28th of 2019. It was titled Moon and Planets at Twilight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be extreme shrimp cocktails. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.